Today we are learning a lot, all things are Taylor Swift, including a course at <laughs> university. That is right. There is a huge party also benefiting a big cause happening tonight. And of course, Joe Breezy is all about it. Fill us in. Well, before we start, I'm going to be right back. I need to get something, okay? Hold oh, on. okay. Hold on. <laughs> what, what is happening? Well, what is happening? now that it's officially fall and hoodie season, that's right. AKA still your man's hoodie season. <laughs> Fellas, we are taking it back. I declare this. We are stealing our hoodies back. So I stole my wife Danielle's Taylor Swift hoodie back from her. Oh. Welcome to fall, y'all. We Welcome made to it. Fall. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get to the Taylor Swift thing in a second, but I okay. want to talk about tonight. Even though we're all cozy in our sweaters, does not mean that we can't be fancy schmancy. Oh, okay. And here's your chance to. So it's the Camus Wine Dinner mm -hmm. at the Union Station, uh, Nashville Yards, right there by the Gulch or in the Gulch, is happening tonight. Listen to this, the uh, description of this thing. An exquisite evening of luxury and flavor under the 1900 train station boutique hotel, toasting to the fusion of delectable cuisine and exceptional wines. How amazing does that wow. sound? I mean, you had me at Camus. I did. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, had me. Uh, tickets are $50 per person. Uh, proceeds do go to the big table. That helps hospitality workers in crisis, which yeah. is always nice. So get, get fancy for a great cause. Dinner starts at, seven, at 6.30 tonight. Lovely. Love yeah. Uh, today is Mix 92.9's Pink Party. Woo. Loving it. Now, we talked about this last week, and we're so excited it's here. We're teaming up with the American Cancer Society, and we're all meeting up at Jonathan's Grill in Brentwood from 6 to 8.30. It's free. Just show up, have fun. It's going to be a blast. Pink cocktails. Uh, we're going to have that, of course. The Mixed Morning Show is going to be playing the $1,000 Minute Live, which is going to be amazing. Uh, tons of photo ops, pink props. Uh, I'm going to be there. Danielle's going to be there as well. And of course, we're raising money for the fight against breast, breast cancer. So yes. hope you can stop by and have some fun with us. Great. All is invited. Great cause. Now, it's no secret that one reason why we love living in Nashville, living here, uh, living here is the diversity. Yeah. Right? So come celebrate it tomorrow at the Nashville Cultural Festival. Now, it's a free festival. At, at Centennial Park from 10 to 6, a variety of dance and musical performances on different stages, vendors, exotic foods from all over the world, plus ch children's activities. So check it out and embrace and celebrate the cultural diversity uh, in and around Nashville. That'll be super fun tomorrow. Love it. It's yeah. always a good place to try something new if you haven't had it. Yeah. So is there ever a time when Taylor Swift nowadays <laughs> is not in the headlines? I don't think so. Well, today is not that kind of day because she is front and center. Uh, first off, so she already broke advanced ticket record sales for her movie that comes out next weekend. A hundred million dollars wow. in movie ticket sales. That's Crazy. amazing. Get it, girl. Yeah, so just, uh, the, the, again, she's just crushing it and continues to do. And mm -hmm. one thing I really love, thank you to, uh, to <laughs> Sylvia, our Taylor Swift trend spotter. Mm -hmm. She caught this, and I love this story. I think it's super cool. And it started right here locally. So Austin P. University, right here in Clarksville, Professor Atkins taught a course on romanticism, such as like poetry through the English language, specifically Taylor Swift and her song lyrics. Now, this was a few years back, and Professor Atkins started this thing which caught on like wildfire. Like Rolling Stone even gave, gave a nod to it and like wrote an article about the courses and everything. And it's a whole thing. So uh, thanks to Sylvia, I did contact Professor Atkins and she said that there's been a huge boost in interest since the course, you know, of her students and the university population as well. Uh, thank, you to, thank you to the support of her supervisor, Dr. Winters, who has been instrumental in the success. Uh, so they're obviously very hopeful to bring it back in 2024. And I just think it's really cool that it's like a worldwide phenomenon, uh, like recognized and Taylor Swift is like a legit poet, and mm -hmm. it started right here in Middle Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Atkins told me herself she's a Swifty. There which you I go. Was, she was not afraid to share that because yeah. she said, you know, Taylor's such a talented, talented writer. Oh. And, and the references she made to, you know, some of the the great writers herself and weaving those types of imageries in, it was it was just a, something she felt like she wanted to share. I, Thank I mean, you. she is mm -hmm. so yeah. talented. Yeah. My mom tried this with her middle school kids. Didn't go off as well. It didn't go well. I mean, uh, it was okay. Okay. Um, I wrote probably a middle school uh, level uh, poem about Taylor Swift. You guys want to hear it? <laughs> okay. All right, Let's... here we go. Roses are red. Okay. Violets are blue. Taylor, join us on Local On 2 and, being, and bring Travis too. <laughs> Please and thank you. All right, we're going to weather now. This local